What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. So today, the Dying Light franchise director Timon Smektala has revealed a whole bunch of great news for the new content coming to Dying Light 2 this coming February 22nd, and some stuff have been delayed to spring of this year as well. So without further ado, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the guns. So here's a look at the guns. They look a bit similar to how they were in Dying Light 1. We got the pump action shotgun, which I remember this one from Dying Light 1, but I gotta say I'm liking the iron sights more in this game since they have more of a smooth look to them than what they did in Dying Light 1. Also we got here is some micro SMG. I recognize this gun in Dying Light 1 as well, but what I'm noticing is the cocking of the gun looks so much better than what it looked like in Dying Light 1. I can't wait to see some of the reload animations on some of these guns in Dying Light 2. Now here we got is the assault rifle. This looks a lot like the military rifle from Dying Light 1, but I gotta say again, the cocking of the gun looks so much better than cocking the gun in Dying Light 1, and like I said, I just can't wait to see some of these reload animations. I really wonder if the reload animations will be more unique in Dying Light 2, like for example, if you don't dispense the entire magazine, are you gonna pull out the mag and put in a new one without cocking the weapon? Since realistically, when you dispense an entire magazine, you have to cock the gun right after. Whereas when it's not an entire clip of ammo dispensed, it's just pull out the mag, put in the new one without cocking the gun after. But yeah, that's pretty much my speculation and what we know so far about the guns in Dying Light 2. Now let's hear a surprise from Timon Smektala. We have invested hard work into the evolution of this game, which is why we can confidently say that the new edition of Dying Light 2 Stay Human is definitely a must play in its genre. Did I mention a new edition? Yes, we'd like to introduce Dying Light 2 Stay Human Reloaded Edition, the richest and most compelling version of Dying Light 2 Stay Human to date. It gathers together all of the additions made to the game thus far, including Bloody Ties DLC, plus new content and the new biggest update yet introducing firearms. If you haven't played the game yet, it's the perfect time to try it out. And if you picked it up a long time ago, then give it another go and check out all the improvements. So if you remember from years ago in 2016 when Techland released Dying Light the Following alongside its Dying Light the Following Enhanced Edition, it seems like Techland is now doing the exact same thing once again with a new addition to Dying Light 2 called Dying Light 2 Reloaded Edition. Alright, let's take a little step back and let Timon explain something about the guns. Firearms have made it into the game. You can be sure that we invested considerable effort to integrate them into the game as organically as possible. It was quite a challenge for us, especially in terms of world building, because, as you know, Dying Light to Stay Human was originally crafted to be a universe without firearms. That being said, in response to your numerous requests stressing how important this is to you, what else could we say than, well, challenge accepted. I hope you will enjoy what we have created. Typically, when designing game features, we prioritize gameplay. But this time, it was the narrative that guided us and gave us direction. Of course, this is our first shot at this. We will definitely extend and improve firearm functionalities and add new ones. Listening to your feedback all along the way. Alright, so it's fantastic that Teclan is listening and not violating its lore for this game since it was very worrying that Teclan would make the guns pop up out of thin air and have no explanation to why they are showing up. I'm glad that it's not violating the lore because since this game is meant to be a modern Dark Age game, which means after modern civilization has collapsed, humanity had to go back to their old instincts like adapting to a medieval style of survival upon the ashes of the aftermath of the collapse of modern society. I also want to bring up the return of these two twin mad scientists known as Tolga and Fatin from Dying Light 1 which may assist in the lore for the Dying Light 2 guns. Listen to this. I also have a gut feeling that fans of the first Dying Light will be happy as well. We allowed ourselves a couple of crazy ideas here. Well, did I say a couple? 
I might be selling it short. So I think this definitely probably confirms that Tolga and Fatin are coming to Dying Light 2 this coming Thursday on February 22nd. I'm guessing these two are probably planning some sort of tech-savvy project that involves maybe finding the guns or some sort of high-tech experiment and are most likely saying to Aiden, you remind us of Kyle, a monkey we knew years ago. I'm predicting Tolga will say to Aiden, Aiden, do you know what a gun is? And Fatin will say, No, Tolga. His ape brain probably has never seen or heard about guns in this world he grew up in. But yeah, that's pretty much my predictions on what Tolga and Fatin will probably will be doing this coming probably Thursday in Dying Light 2. You can also expect several smaller and larger features. Some relate to the visual layer, like the new vegetation, skyboxes, and improved faces of our zombies. All to create a more mature and expressive gaming experience. This is also very fantastic as well for Dying Light 2 because it looks like they are improving like, you know, nice little things in the world like vegetation, stuff like that. Most likely maybe the sunsets in Dying Light 2 because Dying Light 1's sunset looks way better and I definitely gotta say I'm very happy that Teclan also made the rain look a lot better in Dying Light 2 as well. Even as Reloaded Edition delivers the biggest update yet for new and existing Dying Light players, not everything we originally planned could make it. We have decided to give more time to two features, Tower Raids and Nightmare Mode. They just need that extra push to get them where we want them to be, but they are at the top of our development list right now. That's completely fine that uh, Tower Raid is getting delayed once again because this is probably a very ambitious game mode that's getting added to the game that's gonna uh, probably bring a lot of uh, replayability to the game. and. To ensure that it makes sure that it's the best experience when it releases, Teclan of course has to make sure that there's barely any glitches into this. My guess is there probably will be glitches when it releases, probably maybe little minor glitches which is fine as long as they're not game breaking. But of course Nightmare Difficulty is getting delayed as well but um, I wonder why Nightmare Difficulty is getting delayed. I'm not complaining, but uh, my guess is maybe new gameplay elements to the game. Maybe Nightmare Difficulty makes it to that if you die and stuff, you respawn, and those enemies, you have to kill them all over again. Because usually in the Dying Light games, when you die, um, you respawn after the events of when you killed, in, killed the enemies. What I'm saying is, is if you die, you killed the enemies before you died, and then you respawn, those enemies are dead still. But let's say if you killed a bunch of those enemies, and then you died, you have to respawn and kill them all over again. But I'm really wondering what type of nightmarish elements will they be adding to the game because hard mode is actually really easy for me because of all the um, legendary upgrades I've done, the game is just super easy. So the thing is, what type of nightmarish elements can they add to this game because Nightmare Difficulty and Dying Light 1 was pretty good. The game got also kind of somewhat easy for me too, even on Nightmare, but maybe this one will be even scarier. Have I mentioned that the Dying Light 2 Stay Human Reloaded Edition and the Firearms update will land in a game in a few days? You can expect it to go live on February 22nd and this is not the end of surprises. Keep your eyes peeled for more exciting things to follow. See you in Villador, stay human. But if you're a Dying Light fan, consider subscribing to the channel and consider joining the Zomfected Revolution channel membership and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zomfected Gaming 349 over and out. Run